Welcome to the world of Jones Nose. Today we're reviewing and installing Virginia Millworks Tobacco Row Acacia. Today on Jones Nose. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be. This week has been a long week. I think we've had. I almost had a day off yesterday, which would have been my first day off in the last three weeks. But we had to go out to a job site to touch something up. We've been everywhere from South Miami to North Palm Beach and places in between. Today we're five minutes away from home on an easy Sunday. Let's go in and take a look at the job. All right. Hello, how you doing? All right, I gotta get my mask on here. Oh. Hi. Hello. Oh, we just wear them all the time, so. Pre-finished engineer flooring suits, it says walking system. Well, uh, so you have any of the boards out already? Did you open and look at them? Yeah. Hold on, let me look at something on this wood. I wanna see one thing. Make sure it has a locking system. Yeah, sure. Okay, you don't know how many times someone buys the, the flooring yeah. and they get the one with the tongue and groove and not the locking system. And then it can't be, uh, we have to put it down with glue instead. You got the right one. <laughs> I always get nervous. Easy lock is what they call it. Yeah, you got it. You did good. I get nervous though when I see the boxes and I don't see lock anywhere on it because it's happened to me so many times. They buy a floor that's not meant to be floated with the padding. So yeah. you, you did good. You got it. All right, let's take a look at the room. All right. Does the light in the closet work? Oh, it's on. What direction do you want to run it? Um, I think consistent with the okay. out here. No. This way. Yeah, that's fine with me. I just want to... I have to ask. <laughs> I don't want to guess. Uh, so we just go straight into the closet here. I think we left the clothes hanging. No, the clothes are fine. Well, you had carpet before? Yeah, I spent yesterday ripping it out. So I'm, that was a lot more work than I thought it was going to be. Did you get your money's worth out of the carpet? Yeah, we had it for, I was installed for about 20 years, but it was filthy underneath it. Wow. Well, you did a good job. Getting everything out. Yeah, we got it out. Swept it up. Yeah, you did. You swept it up good. There's no. Sometimes people remove the carpet and then they don't get the tack stripping. So, do you want? Uh, what do you want to do with this closet door? Do you want us to remove it and try to just flow the floor through it? What are you talking about, dude? So, do you want us? Do you want the floor to continue without this strip here? Yeah. Because I'd like to get rid of that. It'll look nicer if the floor. Yeah, that continues that. into there, don't you think? Yeah, and that whole strip, we don't. You don't was, need that. That was the. No, you don't need that strip. We take that out and just run the floor right through it. All right. Yeah, that'd be that'd be the okay. way to go. Ah, Virginia Millworks. It's an engineered wood floor with a locking system. It's got a nice hand scraped. Random length boards. It's the Echo Silent, which is a good one. And we're also putting a vapor barrier down under it to really double down on moisture protection. So let's get started. So Floor Hunter noticed that we have a pretty big gap where the concrete meets the hurricane glass and he wants to silicone that edge. It's a great idea. So let's take a look at what we're gonna do. It's a pretty good sized gap. Before we put the plastic down, we'll run a bead of silicone in that edge. And it'll really need to seal it from moisture rising up under our floor. Huh. Cut it the wrong way. There's no wrong or right way, you just have to twist it. Alright, that's nice. Sorry? We silicone the edge. Yeah, you had that big gap in the concrete there. Mm -hmm. You remember that big space you had there? Yeah. We sealed it. 
Oh, fantastic. So we don't get no problems of water possibly coming up under the floor. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. It's not worth taking a chance, you know? Wow, I can almost see my house from here. Well, maybe if I stand on top of this house. So after having a chance to work with this product today, what I like about it is the fact that there's multiple lengths on a random length floor. Sometimes you only get a few different size boards. On this product, there's probably six or seven different length boards. So I like the fact that it's a hand scrape product. I like the wider plank on five inch. Actually, I like seven or nine inch, but five inch isn't too bad. I like the fact that there's also a lot of variation in color. Say it again. What is it? What do you think? What do you like about it? No, I'm saying when you oh. put the joints together, you'll see the wax. Can you close the joint? Yeah. The wax. As Floor Hunter reminded me, there's a lot of wax on these joints too, which is really nice. Wax does two things. Number one, it prevents water from getting through the joints, but more importantly, it keeps the joints from rubbing together. When you walk on this floor, if it doesn't have a lot of wax on it, on the wood, sometimes they can be really loud. The boards can rub together and they can creak. But people say, you know, their floor squeaks and stuff like that. Wax on the joints prevents your floor from talking back to you. As far as installation though, I love, love the way this floor installs. DIYers, this is a dream. I could install this floor with my eyes closed. The other day, with this vinyl job we just finished, we were literally working in the dark. I wish I had this floor, because this floor basically puts itself in. Now, Keisha is a color you really got to like. It's, it's not for everyone. It's a very busy looking floor, which a lot of people love. It's a beautiful look of wood. If you're looking for an Acacia floor, this might be something to consider. What I don't like about this floor is the fact that it's just a little bit too smooth of a finish for me. I'd like it to be a little more distressed. The, the idea between a hand scraped and a distressed floor is that if you get a light scratch or a mark on it, it's not going to stand out. The hand scraping on this product is going to help hide scratches, but it's still a very smooth looking finish. So to me, I, I would like a little bit more roughness on the finish. And I also like a little more variation on some of the lights and darks. There, there is a nice variation, but I think it could even be a little more extreme if it were up to me. All right, show me how to install one board for the viewers at home. It's 
drop in end lock system. What do we do? That easy. Drop down. Repeat one more time. Wiggle it. Drop it down. Nothing to it. It's too easy. Let's put the quarter on it. But probably the biggest single problem that I have with this flooring that I don't like about it is the fact that the inside is in fact cardboard. Yep, it's basically press board. There's laminate floors out there, most laminate, I mean, all laminate floors out there practically have a better inner core than this. I'm not saying lumber liquidators and Virginia Millworks are the only ones to do this, but it's a trend that a lot of companies are doing to cut back on the cost and I don't like it. So that's the biggest problem I have with wood flooring not being wood. Hmm, makes sense, huh? If you want a wood floor, don't you expect it to be wood, not cardboard? You don't buy cardboard floors, so why do they give you cardboard floors? You're paying for wood, last time I checked. Well, anyways, I'm done with my rant, and we're done with the floor. So let's go in and take a look at it, and I'll let you decide. So here is our finished master. The one with quarter round up against the hurricane glass. That way you don't have that threshold sticking out. We ran the floor the same direction as the rest of the house. We were able to reuse the other molding. They had to have one in the doorway just because of the height difference of the tile being under the other floor. Uh, it runs into the closet. They had a metal track that went across the closet door. We took that metal track out and we put just an L bracket there. Uh, which is a lot nicer so you don't have that tripping hazard and it looks nice flowing directly into the closet They did go with the quarter round here. I'm not the hugest fan of quarter round if you know my channel But I can only do what the customer asks, but overall it looks really nice uh, It feels pretty good with the echo friendly or echo padding underneath of it. It gives it a nice solid feel Looks good. Yeah, beautiful. You like it? Yep. I love it. Good. Very nice. Good, good, good. It's not a bad looking floor. So, yeah. Now we gotta paint some walls, but that's a separate. <laughs> yeah, a little rough, huh? But when you start doing the floor, you start noticing everything. I know, I was amazed at how filthy it was pulling that out. I mean, we've, we've been breathing that stuff all along. But, yeah. Well, yeah. oh, I gotta send you the, uh, the PayPal request. Put yeah. your email here. Uh, so we're at, uh, you had 350 feet at $2 with 700 and then you had the quarter round, which was 100 feet, by the way, what we use with waste at mm -hmm. least. So you're at uh, 850 um, plus the molding and the doorway, so you're at 875. How much? 875. Oh, okay. Yeah. Very reasonable. Uh, I try to be, I told you, you're a repeat customer, so. My wife to do the PayPal. Give me so, at the end of the day, it's not a bad looking floor. I love to hear what you think about cardboard flooring or press board centers and your floors. Drop some comments below. Let me know your opinion. If you're new to the channel, be sure to check out some of our other content. We have lots of great videos on how to install wood, laminate, and vinyl floors. Plus, we do product reviews just like this one. We review wood, laminate, and vinyl, and we even put them head to head. We run them over, we dunk them, we submerge them, we do whatever it takes to find out which of these floors are best for you. If you haven't subscribed yet, I want you to take out your favorite flooring mallet. Smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any future content. Thanks for watching.